Hey YouTube, how's it going? This is the help you need. And today we are going to be creating a human foot in 3ds Max. Okay, so um, I've already got my reference images aligned here. My foot here is actually, this is actually the right foot, and this is the left foot. Um, the reason I'm using the right foot and the left foot is because, I mean, they're from two different people, but um, this is because the pinky toes line up in each view here, as you can see. So what's going to happen is, even though this is the wrong way, so to speak, um, it's still going to give us the desired effect because it is in fact uh, upside down. Now if this was the overview of the uh, right foot, that would be in trouble. Alright, so let's go ahead and start. Um, first thing we want is a box, and we're just going to uh, drag it out. We'll do half the foot. Start it. So. Okay, so we got half the foot here. Okay. So we're going to start here, and then we're going to work our way forward. Okay, so now what we're going to do is we're going to right click, convert to the poly, and now we're going to start doing some moving around. Because we're going to work from back to front, so front to back. Um, okay, so let's go ahead and Alt X here. We'll just set a little see through, click 2. And we're going to start right away by connecting. We're going to start molding the uh, shape of the uh, about midsection of the foot. So, let's go right here. Okay. So, I mean, we're not going to be really too focused on polygons at this point. Um, at this point, we're just going to be really more focused on um, making sure everything ends up smoothly looking the way it should. So, uh, don't really worry about your poly count as much. Right now, so right there, two, let's go ahead and connect that. All right, there you go. Okay. And then we can go ahead and connect one more time. Now, I mean, you don't want an extreme amount of polygons because uh, once we start editing more and more of the foot, more polys, a little bit more uh, confusing it can become. So. As you can see, not a crazy amount of polygons have gone into this. Alright. Um, we only have 40. And I mean, it's only half the foot though, so. Alright, now we have uh, 32. Or we had 60 tries, but. Oops. Alright, so now we're just going to get the heel here. And we'll do more shaping of that in a little bit. Okay, so. We've got the basic uh, shape here. Now, something uh, about your feet is that it actually slants up a little bit. So what you want to do is you want to keep these exactly how they are, um, minus this one. So you want to select these two. Okay. Then you want to select these. Okay. Uh, Run Alt X, and what we're gonna do is we're gonna kind of scale them. And like this, because that's how kind of how your foot goes, where it goes right up into the angle, right, which is where we have this basically cut off, and then um, it just goes up. So you'll see what I'm talking about a little bit more uh, in a few minutes. Okay, so we've got this first part, okay, and we're just gonna keep it like this for now. We'll do uh, any more editing. We'll do that uh, a little bit. So the next thing we have to do is bring this, go ahead and connect it once. Alright. We're gonna grab this one right here and we're just gonna pull it out. That one we're just gonna invert. We'll grab this vertice, vertex, pull it out like that. We'll actually grab all of these and just push them in. Same thing over here then. Grab one, two, three, four. Push it in. There you go. Grab this one. Come out. There, we can pull this one in just a tiny bit with these two. About a whole bunch, but I think it'll be okay. Alright, now we want to grab these two. 
and we want to kind of fan it out with this. And that'll give us a little bit more of a shape that would be more of heel like. Okay. So that'll be it for that part. Alright, we'll go ahead and start adding a mesh smooth. We're not gonna really use it too much, but I just want to get you show you guys the feel that we're looking for with the uh, heel here. As you can see, this view looks basically exactly how it looks in the picture from the heel. Okay? Because we got that quad right there, so it works perfectly. Alright. Now we're gonna just start going into the ankle. Alright, so we'll just start working the rest of the shape on the foot. So I'll click OK. Alright, now we have the other half of the foot. We're gonna come over here. Go ahead and grab this, we're gonna pull forward, move it over, pull this one go straight, and this one's gonna go right back here on the pinky tail. You can see. Wow. We can grab top ones, pull them all in tie it. Right, and we're going to add just another connect right here. Alright, so you should have something like this. Alright. Alright, now what we gotta do is we have to select these right here. Go well, up to where we have our ankle set. And we wanna select these right here. Right. And we're going to pull these in. Just a tiny bit. And we'll pull them down too. Okay. Now that gets you a little bit of a different shape to our foot. Um, so that's how your foot goes. Your foot goes uh, in kind of a slant, like I think I said at the beginning of this video. Um, so we got to pull this one down, and your pinky toe uh, actually is more of a slant than your um, other toes are. So, okay. So now we need to make sure we grab all of these really quickly. And we want to make sure that we can pull these down to where they need to be. Which I think that's pretty close. Uh, we're going to get it all the way to exactly where we want it to be. Uh, so, remove this. Okay. Right, we can move this one down. Then we can also move this down just a tiny bit. I'll finish this up and then I'll show you what we'll do with it instead of moving it down. Front. This is still at the half ankle mark is where we still want this to be. So uh, we'll leave it like that. Not gonna hurt us any. Alright now we grab well actually move this one will have. Grab these. Well, we can just start grabbing all of those. And I see how this goes and just kind of pointed there, right? So, you can do a few things here. Um, what I think would probably be the best thing to do is to pull these up like this. Right, we're going to do it on this, this side as well. This side actually needs to make we need to make sure that it actually goes up higher on this side. So we'll up here. Right. And the slant on this side is even more than what I had it. So we'll up. Slide it more. Alright. So we're starting to work in our basic shape here. Um, it's almost there. Just a little bit more to go, but we're pulling it in. It's coming together pretty well. Um, I'm actually going to add another ring here and connect it because uh, this is where I think I'm going to make that my big toe come out. So, let me grab those. Move them this way. Pull it in. Let me grab this. Pull it this way. Pull it out. These 
So now let's look at it. Got the basic uh, shape here. Our foot coming out. You can actually start to see how the toes and everything, how the, all the foot works together. You can see here. So have to do the bottom and all that, but uh, we're getting there. It's getting pretty nice pretty quickly. All right? And I think that's probably about it for the first video.